Variable guiding curves operations can now generate multiple cut depths, allowing you to remove material by machining toward the part geometry one cut level at a time. The multiple depths options are new. When turned off, multi-depth cut generates a single cut level that follows the part surface contours as variable guiding curves operations did previously. Part stock offset does not apply when multi-depth cut is turned off. Here you can see the tool is embedded. This can be solved by specifying multiple cut depths. When turned on, multi-depth cut generates multiple cut levels, removing the specified part stock offset by the specified increment or number of passes. Cut level depths are applied by offsetting the original tool path along the tool axis. The tool is essentially pulled along the tool axis at any given point. Increment specifies how much of the part stock offset to remove for each cut level. If the specified increment does not divide evenly into the part stock offset, the system reduces the stock removed in the last cut level. Passes specifies the number of cut levels. The system calculates the depth of cut. In this video, we'll look at a sequence of operations, each containing an edit that improves the efficiency of the original multi-depth toolpath. By doing so, we can also compare improvements in the operation machining time. In this multi-depth operation, you can see the tool cuts error. This can be solved by specifying Use3D for the in-process workpiece. Use3D restricts cutting moves to only those that remove material. Cutting moves that do not remove material are omitted from the toolpath. When applied to last pass is turned on, the final cutting passes closest to the part will only be made where there is significant material to be removed. When turned off, the finished passes closest to the part are cut entirely, whether or not there is significant material to remove. This is done to avoid lifting the tool on and off the final part surface, which might degrade the final part finish. Notice that lifting occurs in other areas where there is little material to remove. This can be solved by specifying the minimum amount of material to be removed. Minimum material removal prevents the tool from lifting where there are small amounts of material, allowing for a continuous smooth cut. Notice there are an excessive number of engages and retracts. This can be solved by specifying a merge distance. Merge distance connects non-contiguous cutting segments to create continuous cuts without retracting. The tool path can be further improved by alternating cuts from the outside in. Setting the cut order to outside in alternate allows the tool to move smoothly from one cut pass to the next. Notice how the machining time has improved from the initial multi-depth cut operation. 